My uncle Vince died on February 20th, my 24th birthday. It was a terrible birthday gift. No amount of prayers could bring him back. And what really hit me was the loss I knew my cousin Giselle felt. Hey, we're gonna go to mass at five, okay? I can pick you up, let me know. In college, I had some existential woes that dispelled my staunch atheism. It led me right to God, and I even thought about becoming a nun for a year. I shed old friends, old habits, and really only spent time with Giselle when I was home. It took so long for me to recognize who and what really mattered. I wanted to fit in with my white friends, be a Southern belle, love football, and hey, maybe even join sorority life. Giselle and I are three years apart. She was well-behaved, well-liked, and very Catholic. I, on the other hand, got into trouble very often, dealt with anorexia and bulimia, drug usage, and run-ins with the law. Giselle has two siblings, and I have one, Leilani, who's 13 years older than me. I grew up closer to the Puerto Rican side of my family, my dad. Giselle's parents met when they were in Hawaii and retired in Niceville, Florida, just like mine. One thing both of our parents agreed upon was that inside of the house, we were both combative. Auntie Lisa would say Giselle was maldita, like herself when she was young. Although I thought she was the perfect child. My uncle and aunt always shared their faith through their actions. And looking back, I understand just how much parents love you and just how much my parents and her parents loved us. Good morning. Our parents support us through big events. They're there for us hi, even mommy. when they're tired. Say hi, mommy. Hi. And whenever we do things a little unconventional, they're there to say, Voila. Everything starts at home. Our parents are our first teachers. <laughs> that upbringing is so strong that brings that that's becomes who you are outside of home Giselle in a way has my disposition but she looks like Papa so she has our combo <laughs> I'm feeling old now, okay, yeah. Holy Mary, Mother of Grace, Mother of Mercy, pray for us all So it's okay, honey. We, we'll take it one day at a time, even if hour at a time. You rest, you gather your energy in God's time. God's divine mercy, you will heal, okay? Yes? Yes, good, good. Honey, you are surrounded by angels. They're angels on earth, honey. You're getting the best care at Eglin. We're so thankful and grateful.
cut. Look how flaco Papa is now. He lost so much weight. No booty, no arms, no tummy, no tooth. Papa, let me see your... No tooth! There's a certain foreverness in love that a parent brings that you only recognize when they're gone. My uncle loved my cousins. My dad loved me and my sister. Move out. Shadow. What was that? Shadow. What? Shadow. Hmm? <laughs> and here's Lonnie riding the pine, collecting splinters again. Wow, you're doing a great job. Leilani! <laughs> she did it. Giselle, this means so much to me that you're sharing this with me. 